The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. Lavalley Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Vermonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Additional support for today's coverage is provided by the Lebanon Chamber of Commerce, Barton Insurance Agency, Coldwell Banker, Lifestyles Real Estate, and Top Stitch Embroidery. Welcome back. YCN Game of the Week. Lebanon Raiders leading the Hollis Brookline Cavaliers 37 to 27 as we are set to begin the fourth quarter of action. Here from the University of New Hampshire, Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, and Andrew Lebanon Raiders. We've seen this before, just last week, the girls team in the semifinals and obviously winning. And last year, Lebanon Raiders getting to the finals, but not without a fight here as the Cavaliers, Simcoe, he scored the final bucket of the third quarter and now the first one of the fourth quarter, only an eight point lead for the Raiders. Yeah. So they'll give that one. Not, not to Fothergill. I thought maybe it was Fothergill, but it looks like they're going to give that one to Simcoe. And now that's his fourth foul. Now he's got to be careful. Yeah, he does. And, you know, it's just, this is, you know, win or go home right now. And you need Simcoe out there for as long as you can, but. You also need him for the last minute of the game. Probably a good call to just keep him in there. Try and have him be careful. Yeah, you got to see if, and, and the Raiders aren't driving the ball into the paint. Right. So on defense, right. it's almost like you, you don't really need him out there on defense, but obviously you need his offensive presence as yep. he's been really a force. As the offensive foul on KJ Maddy and his father, Coach Keith Maddy, giving him a talk there right after the foul. I'm sure he said something, don't worry about it, because yeah. he looked like he was going to start asking the ref about something. Doesn't need another technical here. No, he doesn't. You know, it's KJ just needs to take the foul, move on. His team's up by eight, you know, he just needs to finish the game strong, move on to the championship. Father Gill dribbling, driving baseline, kicking it out to Simcoe. Nice cut Ooh. there and little travel call. Great call there, Van Conant. Yeah. And before we forget and we get too deep into the fourth quarter, I'd like to give a shout out to Skip watching tonight. A fan of the Hollis Brookline High School Cavaliers. Helped us out with some of the pronunciations. He says he watches mm. our shows. He saw us on, on Sports Talk and Sports Rap. So mm. we got some fans out there. Thanks for tuning in, Skip. Means a lot to us. As another turnover. So, did we speak too soon? This Lebanon Raider team yeah. has gotten pretty sloppy here. Although the Cavaliers haven't necessarily capitalized right. a three-pointer here. It's a five-point game. And there is Father Gill for three. Ooh. Just off the mark, kept away. It goes to Milliken, and he gets it up to Chickering, who's fouled hard as Chickering goes up for the layup. Stay tuned at the end of today's Hoops matchup for the Salt Hill Pub defensive play of the game. Salt Hill Pub, honest food, perfect pints, and living music. So Graham Chickering going to the line now. He'll shoot a pair. And to extend that lead back to 10. First one is up and good. Chickering's second free throw is good as well. So back to a 10 point lead, 39 29, 558 to play in the game. Our scoreboard sponsor is always Lavalley Building Supply. And replays are brought to you by Ramonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. So with a timeout on the floor, 553 to play. We'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back, YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, 5.53 to play in this one. 
Lebanon leads by 10. Can they hold on here, or do the Cavaliers have one final run in them? As a layup there. And who is it? None other than Matt Simcoe. 19 points on the night, and Simcoe going to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Cut this one down to seven. And it's Ooh. up and good. So Simcoe uh, with a three-point play. 39-32 Lebanon. Huge play by Simcoe. That's exactly what the Cavaliers needed. A quick three points. Now they need to play some defense. And an offensive foul. Ooh. We'll call us. Legal screen or something, and that's going to be a nulty, yeah. and that is his fourth foul. So he has four. Dowling has four. Islander has four. Nice defense. Ooh. Stolen away. Chickering on the break. They'll slow it down. No, they won't. Just like Ooh. that. Milliken wow. breaking ankles and going in. <laughs> Ryan Milliken. He's got 19 points. He leads the Raiders. Yeah, and that takes some steam out of Hollis Brookline sales. They, the bench and the fans are really starting to get into it, but that one really quieted them, quieted them down just for a little bit. Nice little pull-up jumper there. Oh. Off the glass, Van Conant. And he answers Milliken, still only down seven, 440 to play. Have a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take a break as well. 4.38 to play. The Raiders lead the Cavaliers 41-34. YCN game of the week. Welcome back. YCN game of the week. Getting good here in yeah. Durham, New Hampshire. Lebanon leading 41-35 with possession for... 30 to play in this one. Milliken driving, kicking off to Maddie, who will drive baseline. Maddie Ooh, can't get it, but he gets his own rebound. Goes up strong. He'll go to the line. It looked like Matthew Dowling was in on that one, and that's going to be his fifth foul. He will foul out. Nice job by Maddie getting his own rebound. Good sign for him. His right foot's feeling good. He can jump, move quickly, make some nice cuts. Matty, you know, doesn't have a ton of points tonight. Does have some assists. He's four assists, three rebounds, two points. A nice job by Matty, getting the Raiders a chance for two more points. Matthew Dowling fouling out, 0 for 2 on the night. One rebound, five fouls, obviously. He had four turnovers in 20 minutes of play, so an unfortunate night for the junior forward. He'll be back for another year next year, as Maddie missing the front end. Only a seven point lead here. Maddie knocks down the second, so extends it to eight points, 42 34. Tune in to YCN's outside television in high definition on Comcast HD Channel 713 or Channel 21 for all the outdoor adventure. Tipped away. Matty tips it out of bounds. It'll stay Cavalier basketball. Big possessions here. Every single one of them for the Cavaliers team. They're down eight. Need to get scores. Both teams in the bonus, inside four minutes to play. Cavaliers taking a lot of time, but they'd rather settle for a good shot than rush something. Mm -hmm. And that motion offense trying to get something. They finally get a pull up jumper, no good, in and out. And it'll go to the Raiders. Not really the best shot. Giancone took it. 
Now with 3.30 to play, Lebanon up eight. That was a big possession for Lebanon. If you give up a three there, it's a five-point game, but instead they get a stop, have a chance now to maybe make it back to a 10-point game. Yeah, big stop there by the Raiders. They really played good defense, not allowing any Crusader player to get a decent look at the basket. Didabani kicks it out to Chickering, and he'll take some time clearing it out for Chickering, and then he gets it to Islander. Off the glass, no good, but a rebound to Maddie in the corner. He'll drive baseline, get fouled, Ooh. and then the technical foul after the whistle. So the, fir the first foul, I don't know who they're going to give that one to. It was a non-shooting foul, but it'll, mm -hmm. it'll be there in the bonus, so they will go to the line. But before that, K.J. Maddy will shoot the technical free throws. Mm -hmm. I believe they were both on Giaconia. First free throw up, no good. We have a series of Sports Wrap specials premiering every Friday at 7.30 p.m. highlighting the teams that have made it to the championships. Friday the 24th will feature the Kearsarge Cougar boys. Second one is up and good. So now Matty will go. He's still at the line. Including another one. So we're, we're I'm not shot. really sure. He got three free throws. Obviously, one was for the technical. Oh, and then maybe it was a shoot. Maybe it was a shooting, shooting foul. foul. Yeah. I thought it was on the floor. Yeah, so it was too. a shooting foul. So he gets his two free throws. But since he, they shoot the technical after that, and it's Lebanon basketball, there's no point in anyone standing around. There's no rebound. Right. Okay. So we've got that all squared away. <laughs> Lebanon leading by ten, and it looks like they'll be content to dribble this one out as long as they can, obviously, plenty of time. They won't dribble it out for the entire 240, but they will take as much time as needed. There's Chickering going up. And he's blocked. It'll go back to Cavaliers. A three-point attempt by Fothergill is up and no good. Doesn't get anything, and you hear the Lebanon Raider crowd air ball. It'll go back to the Raiders. 2.21 to play. 44-34. And Ooh. Brian Milliken continuing to <laughs> put on a show here. He couldn't finish it. But he just does wonders with the ball. Thrown away after Hollis Brookline got the rebound. They threw it away. And not the time you want to go scoreless and Hollis Brookline has done just that no points in the last 245 Powell on Van Conant and that'll put Milliken at the line he makes his first one Second one is up and good as well. So uh, back to a 12-point lead. Just outside two minutes to play in this one. Timeout on the floor. We'll take our timeout as well. 2.01 to play in this one. Lebanon leading 46-34. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back. YCN Game of the Week. Final two minutes here. And the Hollis Brookline Cavaliers come back. Down 12 as they get inside to Simcoe. And Simcoe can't go anywhere. Nice defense by Islander. And Simcoe looks to be shaken up. Hurt his ankle a little bit. And he's calling for help. 
he was going to try and go on, but he cannot, does not look like he'll be able to. He's shaking up pretty badly. Yeah, it looked like he was, said he's fine, he's fine, but his coach called him back, took him out of the game. Tough way to end your high school career if he's done playing in this game. So now we're inside two minutes. Lebanon Raiders with the basketball up 12. Basically played to a stalemate draw here in the second half. They had the 12-point lead at the half, 29-17, and they've basically held on to that now with a 46-34 12-point lead. And I just said tough way to end your career for Simcoe. He's only a junior, so he will have to be back next year. He will be back, but uh, there are five players on this yeah. Cavalier squad, Father Gill, Giancone, Jack Belanger, Ryan Swope, Patrick Whalen. And they will all end their careers here tonight. 91 seconds to go and a 13 point lead as we see KJ Maddy make the front end of his two free throws. And on the Raiders side, they have Graham, Joshua Graham, Graham Chickering, KJ Maddy, Ryan Milliken, Paul Slabinski, and Noah Didabani as seniors who will get one more game, presuming they hold on to this 14 point lead. Tune in for my sports wrap special, looking at this amazing season, season for the Raiders, premiering Friday, March 31st at 7.30 p.m. Turn over there, it goes back to Lebanon, and now with a 12 point lead as we approach one minute to play. This might basically do it, but not before Father Gill comes in. A little aggressive, trying to get that steal. I don't know if he was intentionally fouling or just trying to get a steal. But either way, it's a foul. Graham Chickering at the line to shoot a pair. Double bonus for the Raiders. Chickering's first one is up and good. And as I just said, you can check out my sports wrap special all about this male Raider Lebanon boys team kind of chronicling their regular season and be covering the championship game on Saturday. That will be covered as well, so be sure to tune in and check them out. They have had quite a run as Chickering hits his second free throw. And in comes one of the seniors, Didabani. He'll sit down for Islander and watch out for Matthew Islander. He is going to be him and Nulty will be back next year and they will be forces to be reckoned with for this Lebanon Raider team, but let's not look too far in ahead to next year. Let's look towards right. Saturday. <laughs> and uh, as we see a basket there inside, number 25, Patrick Close. He'll go to the line to try for the three-point play. All right, Andrew, so they play Co-Brown on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Lebanon finally getting to the finals and not having to face Portsmouth. Seems like every year, either in the finals or semifinals, they get beat by Portsmouth. Portsmouth obviously moving up to yep. Division I this year. And Lebanon, 17-1 in the regular season. Two wins in the playoffs, and they're back into the finals on Saturday. Yeah, and this win definitely especially feels good for Lebanon because that one loss during the regular season was to this Hall's Brookline team. So Raiders kind of proving they can beat just about anybody. What a game by Lebanon, really strong defense tonight. So as the last few seconds tick off the clock, the Lebanon Raiders defeat the Hollis Brookline Cavaliers 50 to 36 in the boys Division II semifinal matchup. And that sets up the final matchup. Cole Brown, Northwood Academy Bears and the Lebanon Raiders on Saturday at noon. A great game, Lebanon back in the finals as they win this one, 50 to 36. Andrew, a great game if you're a Lebanon Raider fan. They got, it was close there in the second half, but they ended up pulling away and pulling it out. 
Right, yeah, they did, and uh, really Lebanon was read to, uh, led tonight by uh, Ryan Milliken. He was 8 for 16 from the floor with 21 points. He nailed a 3, and uh, Islander, let's see, he had 8 rebounds. Matty had 7 points. Chickering had 9 points. Nolte had 6. Really all-around effort, but Milliken was really their star tonight. And on the other side, on the Hollis Brookline side, Simcoe led his team with 20 points. Uh, he also had 7 rebounds. He was really a force for them. But uh, overall tonight, I would say Lebanon, really their defense was sorry this one. All right, and let's do a couple of the end post-game awards. Let's start with the Salt Hill Pub defensive play of the game. Yeah, so uh, around the four-minute mark in the third quarter, uh, Ryan Milliken knocked the ball away from a Hollis Brookline uh, dribbler, and he, he knocked it forward, and Ryan really turned on the Jets, got possession, got two free throws out of it. So his, his effort on the defensive end, knocking the ball away, getting the steal, really that's my Salt Hill Pub pick for the defensive play of the game. All right, and for the player of the game, that's also going to go to Ryan Milliken, I would assume. Yeah, Ryan Milliken, the HR Club Pierce Hart heating player of the game. It's definitely him. You know, he had 21 points, 8 for 16 from the floor. Really a great effort from him, a bunch of assists, rebounds, really just all around great performance leading his team to the victory. All right, and don't forget to tune in to Andrew's special. He'll be uh, doing a special for this Lebanon Raider team as they are now in the championship game on Saturday. The final score here for the final time, Lebanon wins it 50 to 36. For Andrew Zerheide, I'm Jeremy Stout. Thanks for watching. The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kears Hart Heating, the home energy specialist. LaValle Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Romanto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Additional support for today's coverage is provided by the Lebanon Chamber of Commerce, Barton Insurance Agency, Coldwell Banker, Lifestyles Real Estate, and Top Stitch Embroidery.